I was working from home at the time and I heard a knock on the door. I opened the front door as I would to anybody and instantly received about a, a pint of concentrated sulfuric acid to the face, uh, whilst an unknown man said, this is for you, mate. He was stood in a step, two steps down from my doorstep, so he threw it in an upright motion. So the acid came up and it hit the ceiling above me and it rained down my back. My T-shirt disintegrated from top to bottom and was hanging on my arms like a waistcoat. That was the moment I knew it was acid. Andreas's attacker, David Phillips, had driven 300 miles from Sussex to Cornwall to carry out a revenge attack. But this was a case of mistaken identity. He had got the wrong man. Phillips had his life sentence quashed in 2016, and Andreas has now been told his attacker has been moved to an open prison and is applying for day release a little over five years since the attack took place. Second, I think is probably the correct term. It became very obvious that in the UK, you can throw a pint of sulfuric, sulfuric acid in someone's face, ruin their life, cost them physically, emotionally, mentally, cost the state hundreds of thousands, if not millions, in hospital fees and police investigations, and then you spend five and a half years behind actual bars. It just doesn't add up. Andreas says he feels let down by the justice system. Every aspect of my life has been affected by what he did to me. Every aspect. There isn't one aspect that hasn't been affected, even sleeping. How can he be out? Yes, he's still at an open prison, but he can go out and enjoy the sunshine. He can go out and spend time with his family. He can even go and get a job and start working again. When I'm still picking up the pieces from what he did to me. The government says that since this appalling attack, it has increased minimum custodial sentences. Too late for Andreas, whose attacker is now regaining his freedom while Andreas continues to rebuild his life. I like to make the most of life, you know, even if I am disabled in the way I am, because what David Phillips did to me, I still pick myself up and carry on doing what I can do. It's not what I want to be doing, but it's, it's something. So life is it's good, you know, you know, it's the best it can be in a, in a bad situation. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Cornwall.